This message is for my Capricorns out there or a Capricorn cross watcher. You can also reverse this. You ever been in the energy where you're kind of like, do it or don't? Do it or don't? Make up your mind or step in or step out or step up or step out. You ever felt like that? That's kind of what I'm getting today. I was, look, it's been all morning that I've been trying to get Capricorn message out. I'm like, I no sooner get it and I'm pretty positive about it. I'm like, all right, this is what's going on for Capricorn. And then it changes. So then I listened to some music. I went outside with my grand doggy about three or four times to try to just ground myself. And, and it's like, it's too, like, what is this? What is this whole, like, uh, okay, so here's what I'm getting. I know what's going on. All right. I'm getting two completely different messages. So I'll probably have to do a bonus because for some of you, you're with this person. You're in a relationship with this person. For others of you, you're single. Which one should I do first? It's along the same lines. Like they're both connected in the sense of like one person is doing the same thing in both. But it changes the whole message by being in a relationship. You see what I'm saying? So let's do the relationship one. And then I'll do the bonus for you right after. So... This one will be if either you yourself, Capricorn or Crosswatcher, whoever's watching this video, either you are in a relationship right now with this person or the per it's a person on the outside of you in a relationship with someone and either they're doing this to their person or their person is doing this to them. I would say if it's a relationship happening on the outside of you, it's somebody doing this to their partner. And that's where the bonus message could come. I can't even speak. See, it's like I'm not supposed to speak it out. I'm not supposed to say it. You're like forbidden fruit. The bonus message could be that if there's a person on the outside of you in a relationship, they want to come towards you, but they're trying to like hold back, maybe sending you mixed signals. You see what I'm saying? So this message is going to be like, do it or don't. Like, you know what I mean? Something here is frustrating, very frustrating regarding a relationship. Again, either one you're in or one on the outside of you because somebody is like trying to get their partner to do something here, to see something here. You ever seen someone who like will post something on their Facebook or like on something on their social media or they'll send little hints to their partner, you know what I mean? Like, oh, look, like or repost something so that their partner will see it or maybe a potential love interest will see it. And they'll be like, oh, look, this is the type of thing I like. I like my bath drawn and warm hot water. And I like a movie while I soak. And, you know, one of those trays you put in the bathtub with a charcuterie board on it. Charcuterie board on it. <laughs> and some cheese and crackers. And just, or maybe someone posts like a vacation spot so that their, you know, their spouse or their partner will know, hey, this is somewhere I'm interested in, something I like, or my birthday is coming up, hint, 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 you know what I mean? Something like that. Our anniversary is coming up, hint, hint, look, this is a pretty cake. These are pretty flowers. I would really love a, what do you call that? A gift card for Ulta, hint, hint, you know, I've always wanted in this purse, something like that, you know? So, but it could be different too. It could be where someone's posting or saying something along the lines of like, you know, I really don't need nobody anyway. Like I didn't need to get married. I'm just saying, I mean, I'm happy I am, you know, you're lucky because I didn't need to get married. Like, you know, that type of subliminal hints, that type of hints, somebody could be posting or saying or roundabout way, passively getting a point across to their partner like, hey, either I want you to step it up in the marriage and the relationship, even if it's new, or I want you to know that I don't need you and I could leave you, but I don't want to. I stay because I want to. Whoever, I'm going to say, if anyone's doing that, I get it. I think we've all done that. I think we've all done that. You know, <laughs> if we're being honest, at least feminines, I can come from a feminine place. I've done it. I've done it. When I used to be in relationships, I did it. But I'm going to tell you something. In this message, it's not working. Whoever's doing that to their partner to make their partner kind of wake up and see it's not working. If anything, it's 
to a degree it's working, but it's only working because it's either guilt tripping their partner, like even if that's not what they're meaning to do, someone's partner is getting guilt tripped here. Uh, or it's making their partner feel afraid. If you have to guilt trip someone to stay with you, or if you have to, if someone else is doing this, if they have to guilt trip their partner to stay with them, or almost like instill fear in them to be like, hey, I need you to see my value. Cause like, I don't need you. If you have to do that with somebody that you're with, it's probably not a great relationship to have. That's just my opinion. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in it, but I'm not everybody, you know? I wouldn't do that. If you have to do that, I feel like that's a little bit uncalled for. You shouldn't have to do that. So uh, for the majority of you, I feel like you're single watching this, but of course not everybody is, but if you're single, you're the one on the outside and someone here, their partner is doing that to them. Someone wants you who's in a relationship and they're doing everything they can to ignore you, to avoid you, but they've been sending these like subliminal signals to you and doing little things and you've been picking up on it. Like, is this person trying to flirt with me? Do they like me? Are they trying to call me in towards them or something? And then they no sooner do that and cast you back out energetically. And you're like, quit fucking with me. You know what I mean? Do it or don't. But they can't do it or not because they're in a relationship with someone who's also saying do it or don't. They're being tug of war, like pulled in different directions. We're going to get into the second part in the bonus, okay? I'll post the bonus on here. I haven't decided to do like Patreon yet. I, I'm debating. But for now, I post all my extensions and bonuses on, on here. my cat yeah it's like I don't know so for now someone is able to kind of keep their partner their spouse whatever the relationship looks like someone's able to keep their spouse their partner in line and focused on them but honestly it's only for little increments because no sooner does this person leave for a few hours or go to work or you know go visit their friends or take a trip with the kids or whatever someone does for a little bit. They're separated for even just a couple hours and it makes this person's will start turning again and start thinking about what would life be like if I was single still? What would life be like if I was entertaining Capricorn or Cross Watcher? You see what I'm saying? Somebody here may have gotten married a little young and whether they want to admit that to their partner or not, if someone's married, they, they miss the single life or wish that they would have spent more time being single and uh, kind of getting to see who they are. And I don't think there's anything wrong with experiencing that. It, to me, it's totally normal to experience that emotion. Uh, there could also be someone like, let's say there isn't a marriage here. Someone's just thinking like, should I have gotten into a relationship? Even if it hasn't been somebody together with another for a long time, even if it's you and you haven't been with somebody for a long time, you know, I don't think either partner is necessarily wrong, whoever's in a relationship here or a marriage, but I don't think it's necessarily right if a partner has to, again, guilt trip the person they're with, send subliminal little passive aggressive type things to make them step it up, or even if they're doing something in the home to kind of make them, it's like, if you have to do that, like to me, that's just exhausting. I feel like I just would never want to do that again. I would never want to do that again, you know? I don't want to feel like I have to do like little things like that to get you to, I don't know, stay in line or to get you to do things for me or keep you, keep your interest. Like, you know, people say that all the time, like, you, you got to do things to keep their interest. Like, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Fuck that. You know what I mean? Then there's no point. I'm not going to stress that shit. Hell no. Nah. So this is, this is a... This is a, uh, someone's in a rock and a hard place, in between a rock and a hard place. The majority of you, again, I don't think it's you, but if you are in a relationship with someone, I get, I get both sides. Like I do get even the person that's trying to get their partner to step it up a little bit or do little sweet things for them. Or if they're trying to let them know, Hey, look, I don't need you. I can tell, you know, you don't really try with me anymore because you already got me. Or I can tell you, like, look at people a certain way other than me. And, like, if you want them, go be with them then. You know, you could even have somebody who all out says that unless it is passive aggressive. But they could just be straight up, like, go be with them then. But it's like, if you got to say something like that, then why are you with somebody? You know what I mean? But I'm telling you, I feel like you got somebody here who really just, they don't want the relationship to end. They do still want to stay with their partner. 
even if I believe it's not healthy. I think these are two people who probably should, if nothing else, take a break from each other, for God's sake. You know what I mean? What's wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Why all to say, like, oh, but then we can't say that we've been, we stuck together and worked it out. Like, for who? Who's giving you the trophy for that? Yeah, cool, that's great. Some people can do it. My parents have done it. That's wonderful for some. But just because you haven't doesn't mean you can't be just as praised in your own way. Who gives a fuck? That's good for them. But what's good for them don't mean it's your story. You know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't stay with somebody just to say eventually, like, oh, look how long we've been together, you know, and get, like, a, a reward for that, you know? I'm not saying anybody's doing that. Like, they may claim it's love, but I honestly feel like somebody just thinks that it is. They're under the illusion. I think both parties are. One person's being kind of guilt-tripped or either controlled into staying and the other one doesn't mean to guilt trip or control necessarily some do but most don't but they 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 truly believe they're in love with this person but it's like no actually you may love them but you could do good without them too and what if y'all separated and then got back together or took a break from each other like if the love is real the love ain't gonna go nowhere <laughs> if anything it may renew it you know i don't know guys this is intense because this is how long it's taken me. It's literally 122. That's a five. Something's changing. Two and two is four plus one is five. Something's changing. Someone can tell that a something in their dynamic of their relationship is changing. Another person in the relationship is changing. They're acting different. They're, they're, they're acting different. Someone can pick up on their partner, even if it's a new connection. But I'm going to leave this here because I said I have a bonus, right? I was getting two completely different messages, but it was so hard to put it all together. So I'm going to do the bonus right now. I'm going to click off of this, do the bonus, and this will be the portion of people I pick up on who are single. Meaning, like, I will state it as if you're the single one watching this video. Again, feel free to reverse it, but so that I don't get confused and that this person is in a relationship. You're the outsider. Hell, but you could be in a relationship too. I don't know. I don't think you are though. All right, guys, we're going to click off and do the bonus and I'll try to put this video at the end of the bonus and vice versa so that if you watch this six months to a year from now or however long ago, I mean, it can resonate, but also you'll be able to easily find the first part of the video in the second. All right, love you guys. Talk to you later.